I am Marlena Phillips, the Forest Reserve Specialist at Kresge Library. The Affordable Textbooks program started in the summer of 2013. Um, I wanted to expand on the current Course Reserves program, which basically provides textbooks for students um, who cannot afford the textbooks or um, simply just want to come in and use it really quick before classes. So I wanted to focus on classes that had not been represented in the program. The criteria used uh, to decide which courses are included in the program uh, were basically researching of the highest enrolled courses available um, in the undergraduate general requirements catalog. So I went through and I located the top 12 courses that were required of all majors and then I was able to see the enrollment, um, so the number of students who were enrolled in those classes for the year. So I was able to purchase 12 uh, textbooks along those requirements and make them available within the first week of classes for students. The program has changed since its first year in many ways. Um, we originally purchased the textbooks because of the research that I had done and then we opened it up for student recommendation. So the circulation desk and the reference desk offered a list for students um, to put their recommendations on. The second year we were able to purchase 11 more textbooks and the third year we were able to cover an additional 19 and we were also able to provide second copies of textbooks that circulated the most within the first year. So I really think having student input um, the second and third time around was a really important change. Um, and we were also able to purchase bone and organ kits for anatomy and biology classes, which students really appreciate. I think the biggest surprise in leading this program is hearing how thankful students are for the services, um, that we are here to help them on their journey. Um, and the fact that we're also trying to find ways to help them save money and to find free resources within the library. Uh, it's been very nice being able to create regulars out of these interactions. So they come in for the program, but then they stay for other services that we have um, within the library. So it's really nice to be able to create those opportunities for people. Reactions from students when they check out the textbooks are pretty varied. Um, some students, you know, just give us a quick thank you or ask for more information about what other classes uh, we have that are covered underneath the program, um, how long they can check them out for, if they can renew them. Um, and we also get personal stories where students tell us this biology book costs $350 in the bookstore and instead of purchasing the textbook, I was able to pay for a month of rent um, or, you know, six months of car insurance. So the reactions are varied, but I'm always surprised by how often students are willing to tell us how much they were able to save and how thankful they are for the program. The next step for the Affordable Tax Program would definitely be marketing and promotion. I would like to see more tabling events, possibly during orientation or welcome week, um, seeing more posters, banners, possibly even bookmarks when you check out books at the front desk. Just getting the word out about the program, especially for new students or transfer students who aren't familiar with uh, Presky Library Services, um, reaching out to new students and also informing returning students that we maybe have their, their classes now that they're no more available in the program.